After exploring Old Quebec, I went on to visit three points of interest a short distance northeast of the city. The weather unfortunately prevented me from seeing the Montmorency Falls at their best, but they were definitely impressive. At 83 metres high, the visitor leaflet was keen to note that that was 30 metres higher than the Niagara Falls. A rather daunting looking panoramic staircase allowed closer views and some good exercise. Once up at the plateau level, the suspension bridge provided a scary view down the face of the falls. At the opposite side, a little viewpoint provided another angle of view. The cable car was an alternative form of access to climbing up and down. In the distance is the St Lawrence River and the Eau de Orleans. I chose to head back over the bridge and back down the panoramic stairway. As I went down the blustery wind became even stronger, swirling the spray around like mist. About a 20 minute drive out from Quebec, this basilica is dedicated to St Anne the mother of Mary and the patron saint of Quebec. There has been a shrine on the site since 1658, but the current building was constructed between 1926 and 1946. It attracts over a million visitors a year, many of them pilgrims. There were mosaic designs on both the floor and the ceiling. I was especially impressed with the ceiling images, some of which depicted the life story of St Anne. There were also over 200 stained glass windows. Although there was much to admire, the focus of pilgrims to St Anne de Beaupré is the miraculous statue of St Anne carrying the infant Mary. Other on again was the St Anne Canyon, with the Pont Mestachibo being one of three bridges over the St Anne River. The canyon had been carved by the power of the river on its way to join the St Lawrence River. From the rapids under the bridge, it plunges in stages, some 74 metres. With the three bridges and several lookout platforms linked by trails both sides of the river, there is no shortage of vantage points to admire it.
hardly surprisingly, this was named Rainbow Point. After a final set of rapids, the water was allowed to become tranquil again. With trails and bridges both high and low, there was plenty of climbing needed. The park has multiple activities for the adventurous, including zip lining and abseiling, which is also known as rappling, and finally a via ferrata or iron path to test the nerves. <laughs>